Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 4th. Around the 4th, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 4th? Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, right? And not every reading is for you, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for our message today? Ten of Wands reversed. So, so this is making a conscious change. This is freedom. Balance is waiting. This is giving up something, letting go. This is making a change, you know, heading towards balance, uh, dropping something, dropping weight, dropping a burden. Somebody's been extremely overwhelmed. They have been extremely overwhelmed, but now they're about ready to stand up and, and let something go or they're just they just want balance so this is uh what is a 10 somebody's held on for a long time they've been hanging on to some sort of baggage or weight and now it's just basically time to to uh drop it drop something something is being dropped because balance is, is desirable at this time. You know, there's no need to carry this anymore. Making a conscious change. Nine of coins reversed. So the nine of coins must take action right now. Somebody has to take action right now because there's some sort of you know, life isn't treating them well. This is not a good life. It's not a good life. It's not uh, stable. It's not secure. Somebody needs to find their courage and they need to find their confidence to take care of themselves. To take care of themselves. Somebody needs to take care of themselves. They've been not putting in enough effort. But I feel like now, I feel like now they're making, they're going to be making a conscious change. This is somebody that uh, hasn't been very self-sufficient. And there could be a loss of uh, money even. Somebody may have lost money or they've lost, they could have even lost a job or they've lost, they've lost some sort of security. And it could be inner security. You know, there, there's some sort of insecurity here. Somebody has been extremely overwhelmed, but they haven't been putting in the effort. You know, they've, they've been trying to prove a point, but it feels like they don't have the, uh, they're not capable. There's a lack of cap capability here. This is somebody who, they, they are capable, but maybe they didn't know they were capable. You know, they didn't, they didn't take action, you know, and that's what caused them to be so overwhelmed. So when you don't, when you don't take care of yourself or you don't put yourself first and you hold on, you take on all, all the responsibilities or you try to do, take responsibilities that aren't yours or you hold on to baggage from the past, it can weigh you down. It can overwhelm you and cause you to uh, go in the wrong direction. This is a uh, release of something. And needing to release, you must take action. Somebody needs discipline. They need to find the discipline to take care of themselves right now. Right now. Maybe they need to let go of some responsibilities. You know, there's somebody that has been trying to, to uh, prove something, taking on too much, and I don't think it's paid off. I don't think it's, it's or it's not paying off or something like that. Um, The devil reversed. So this is freedom. This is breaking free from something. And it may be ego. It could be ego. It could be fear. Um, this is breaking free from something that is unhealthy, that is toxic. Needing to find the discipline to let go of something that, you know, was based out of ego, was based out of fear, was based out of lust, greed, materialism. I don't know what it is, but the devil doesn't bring anything good. This is, you know, I feel like we have something here that has turned out disastrous. 
And I think it's because, uh, well, I think ego is part of it. Somebody was trying to prove something that they are, they really, I don't feel like they have the means or the uh, stability or the security or the knowledge or something to, to, to prove something. Uh, the devil reversed is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. You know, whether it is a bad habit, it could be a bad habit, you know, it could be smoking, could be drinking, could be materialism, could be lust, could be greed, could be control, you know, this is ego, you know, whatever it is, this is breaking free from something, you know, um, but needing to find the discipline that has been lacking to do so, because with that nine of coins reversed, this is somebody who hasn't wanted to put in effort, you know, they haven't wanted to. And I feel like we have a breakdown here, you know, because of the Ten of Wands reversed. So there's somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed trying to prove something that isn't, I don't feel like it's real because the devil is ruled by the shadow and the shadow isn't, what you see is not what you get. It's completely different than what is, what it is. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been, uh, trying to prove something that, you know, out of darkness, out of ego, that isn't uh, all that it, it that they say it was, you know what I mean? Anyhow, nine of pentacles reversed is not very stable. Somebody's not stable. They're not stable. They don't have the means. Strength. strength is the card of finding the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the discipline to let go of something. And because this is letting go, to drop something. This is about acting with integrity and doing the right thing. So it is needing to find the strength and the courage and the discipline that has been lacking to break free from this addiction or... Uh, behavior because the devil is a bad behavior very bad behavior but this is freedom and this is freedom finding the inner strength hmm. eight of coins putting in effort somebody's going to be putting in effort they're going to be trying harder they, they may want to uh, go it feels like somebody's going to be putting in a lot of effort to become stronger, you know, become stronger in some way to to break free from this bad situation. This is definitely a bad situation. Severing ties. We have somebody here that hasn't put in much effort, but they're going to be putting in effort now. It's not going to be easy. taking control we have somebody here that is about to take control of themselves after they've been it feels like trying to pretend to be somebody that they aren't that they're not Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is somebody that is facing some very big challenges right now. This is somebody that is facing life challenges. They have been wounded in some sort of battle. Um, they've received some sort of message or messages that have told them that they, they may be up for a battle of some sort. Um, so we have somebody here that is wounded. 
they are in defense mode. I feel like they, they're in defensive, you know, they're feeling defensive. They've been wanting to defend themselves. They've been uh, protecting themselves. They want to protect themselves. This is a wounded warrior who, you know, I feel like somebody may be wanting to or needs to take responsibility for their actions. Maybe asking for another chance. There may be one more chance. Somebody may be asking for another chance. Nine of Wands, this is a wounded warrior who has been in some battles, has, has already fought quite a few battles. This is somebody that has persevered, has persevered through a lot of battles. And they've been, they've been trying to prove something. They have, they've been trying, they've been taking on too much and they are extremely overwhelmed. And I feel like they're about, they, I feel like, Somebody may want to work together. You know, they may want to work together rather than fight. I don't see fighting here, which is, we've been seeing a lot of fighting. I see giving up, you know, not fighting. And this is like, you know, the Knight of Wands, this guy, this person is wounded and they're ready to fight all the time, you know, and that's because they need to protect themselves because they've had to fight so much. You know, it's been a constant battle. If you think about the cards before the Nine of Wands, you know, and I, but I feel like now, this is, you know, if you go to the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, this is letting something go, dropping it. Sometimes the person that drops it is actually the winner, you know. Somebody may be wanting to drop something. They're finding their courage and their confidence and their strength to let go of something. And they're putting in effort to break free from, from an addiction or some sort of bad habit or bad behavior. You know, maybe they're just letting go of their ego. It could be, it could be anything. You know, with that devil reverse, that is definitely taking back control. It is. Somebody's going to be taking back control of themselves, and they haven't been in control of themselves because the nine of coins is about self. It's about independence, but it's reversed. Somebody hasn't been taking care of themselves. They haven't. And there's a lack of self love. There's a lack of self worth. There's no love in these cards. There's a lack of self-worth. There's a lack of self-esteem. There's a lack of self-confidence. And I think that we have somebody here that is going to find their strength and the discipline and their discipline to uh, make a conscious change and break free from whatever this is, you know? Facing some extreme challenges with this Nine of Wands. We have somebody here that is... You know, very experienced. I mean, this guy looks like he's experienced, you know. And he's got some sort of exciting opportunity in front of him because he's holding an ace of wands, which is a fresh start, a clean slate, a new desire, a new vision, new drive, new ambition. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is finding their confidence so they're finding their they're they're getting their ambition back you know their their ambition their drive their desire to change is coming back sun sun is a card of happiness new beginning new day this is a breakthrough this is a change in vibration somebody's this is an awakening this is enlightenment so somebody may get some sort of uh, new it's a it's a new uh, well my, my mind is it's I can't hold on one second It's enlightenment. Somebody's getting some sort of new, uh, bright, enthusiastic energy. You know what I mean? They're it's, a, it's a shift of, of, of energy.
So yeah, we definitely have a breakthrough here. We do have a breakthrough. God, there's something that's right there and it won't come out. You know what I mean? It's right there. It wants to come out. What is it? Seeing the light. Somebody's going to be seeing the light in a situation. Seeing it very clearly. This is coming out of darkness because the sun right next to that devil reversed. The devil's darkness. From darkness to light. This is definitely a shift. This is a shift. Somebody is shifting their vibration. And they maybe want, this is a soul ownership, taking ownership of their actions. So somebody may be wanting to take ownership or they may be taking ownership of their actions. Taking on a challenge to break free from something and letting something go, making a conscious change to drop. Maybe it's dropping weight for some of you, dropping a burden, dropping something that has been weighing you down and holding you down. Somebody's dropping something they're, and they're going after happiness because that's extreme happiness, bl joy, bliss. bliss. Um, it's a new beginning. We definitely have a new beginning here with the sun card. It's a new day. So this is a new beautiful day. Positive energy. A positive, 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 positive change. Coming out of a dark place. Knight of Wands reversed. So the Knight of Wands reversed is... I don't know, maybe somebody's going to... Maybe they've been acting recklessly. Maybe they're going to slow down. Somebody may be slowing down. Knight of Wands reversed. Thinking. They've been, or they're going to be thinking. It may take some time to think. We definitely have somebody that has been, I feel like trying to prove something that was unrealistic. It wasn't based on good things okay the devil the devil upright is unhealthy it's toxic it's bad it's it's negative somebody was trying to prove something that wasn't really what it was and i feel like they've lost something of value because of it because of their ego Hmm. just want to be happy just want to be happy we have somebody here that just wants to be happy now it feels like they realize their darkness you know it's like their darkness is they now they realize their darkness they just want to be happy now Knight of Swords. So this is somebody definitely gets a, a new bright idea. That's what I wanted to say too. Bright idea. So somebody is getting some new bright idea. They may be taking a new approach. Um, they may be coming with some sort of truth. There could be a message coming. It's a very truthful message. It's a very positive message. Somebody may be sending a positive message. This is somebody who, you know, I feel like we have an individual here that has gained some sort of life experience through some sort of battle. They're now seeing things more clearly. They're coming out of a period of darkness. They're going to be putting in some sort of effort. They want to, uh, or they found their courage and their confidence and their strength to uh, take action after they've, they've probably been, obviously they've been thinking about it. I feel like this person's been thinking about it. I feel like we have a revelation here. Also a shift of, you know, from negative to positive. So there's a shift. And this is a, we have a positive, definitely this is a positive change. I do feel like uh, 
We have somebody that is on a mission. This is somebody that is coming with some sort of information. It's very, it feels like it's good news. Now, the Knight of Swords is also somebody who could be a law official. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's what just came to me. That we, we could have a law official that is um, stopping somebody from, because this is like not going, somebody may be being stopped. You know, this is definitely a positive change. We may have we may have somebody here that is, you know, going to be held accountable maybe for their actions. I mean, the nine of wands is somebody who is typically a fighter. I mean, this is a warrior, somebody that fights, 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 fights. And it's because of their ego. So yeah, we, but I feel like there's definitely a positive change coming. There is, there is some sort of communication coming as well. It is positive. This is, this is taking sole ownership for actions. Somebody's going to be taking ownership for their actions, for their bad behavior. Could be dealing with a Leo. Or a Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We definitely have somebody here that's not stable. They're not. They're not living the good life. But I feel like they've been trying, and maybe they're losing weight. I don't know. We definitely have, uh, or they're letting go of something they've been carrying. There's, I feel like there's going to be some sort of uh, challenges. Somebody's going to be faced with some challenges. I don't know if the laws, or it could be protection, protection. You know, this could be a child. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, This is reckless behavior as well. So I feel like we have somebody here that has acted recklessly and maybe they're going to be held accountable for their actions. And I know that's a different story. That's not going to be for everybody. But positive change is needed. There's definitely a new approach that is about to be taken. One more card. We definitely have somebody here that is, I don't know, there's protection here as well, some sort of protection, so I'm not sure what is going on. This is control. Somebody's trying to control something, or they tried to in the past. But this is a shift of energy, it is. We definitely have somebody here that is overly competitive. <clears throat> I feel like there's, you know, I hate to say this, but for somebody there's some consequences here. There's consequences for uh, being unhealthy for trying to force something because that's force. Somebody's tried to force something and I feel like they're gonna, there's going to be some consequences. I feel like there's going to be some sort of uh, swift action that is taken and, and I feel like it's, uh, there's been some lies, there's been some deception and I feel like there, it feels like somebody's lies and deception are gonna come back to bite them. You know what I mean? It's really interesting but that's what I'm getting. 
I have the seven of swords on the bottom, by the way. So I feel like there's been some sort of lies. There's been some deception. Somebody's going to get caught. Maybe they got caught in a lie. And I know that I've changed that, changed this story a little bit, but I feel like there's somebody that has been lying and I feel like they're, you know, they've gotten caught in a lie and they've been, now they're overwhelmed and, and you know, they need to own up to it. Somebody's going to be, you know, coming, the truth is coming out or the truth is going to be seen clearly, very clearly. We definitely have somebody that's not healthy and it's time to get healthy. So it's all about getting healthy. So anyway, my message is, is it's taking a new approach. A new approach is about to be taken. I feel like we have somebody here that is angry. They are, and this, this is happy, but this guy looks angry. You know, this person has angry. They're, they're angry with the uh, lies. There's some sort of lies. We have somebody here that's definitely been trying to prove something that isn't real. Which is interesting. Anyhow. Somebody could get stopped right in their tracks. It's time to take a new approach. And remove yourself from that unhealthy situation, whatever it is. Good luck.